Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. As you can see, I have been extremely busy late around here. I've been trying to get stuff all crafted and ready to go. I got my first batch of plates and frames all ready. Uh, I've been trying to get some stuff together to not only make our first flyer, that uh, was the flyer I wanted to make in the last episode, uh, but uh, I got the greenhouse up and running. Uh, I had to gather some water, apparently, uh, you can actually grow seeds, we need clean water for the seeds, and then you can uh, get the herbs and the fruit, but it takes dirty water for that. Uh, three minutes to grow those, eight minutes to grow those, which takes a while, but one on one gets nutrition capsules, which is just like second best to the superfood. So that is up and running, I was thinking about getting, setting up a greenhouse this episode, but I want to head back up to the north there and get that whole setup figured out and maybe try to see if I can find another place to put another miner down for silver because uh, that one's not the greatest for silver but it's got the aluminum and the carbon and or cobalt I guess it's cobalt uh, but yeah so uh, unfortunately I have just enough of those green circuits to make two air blades uh, that's including taking that miner apart actually I should do that now I had to put it back down to get some more silicone uh, I'm liking the new jetpack. It's hard to believe the diff difference between the starter one and uh, the Mark II. Uh, unfortunately, I will have to make the medium armor or the large, was the medium armory for the the Mark III. Uh, I do remember that that requires the, like the level three ALMs, and it was something like forty carbon, forty titanium, forty xanite, or something insanely expensive to get them uh, another thing I want to do too is I actually want to go back to the other miner that was there I'm just gonna grab whatever I have we're gonna also do a bit of a test too and I want to build a little shelter out there and see if I can actually survive in that shelter see if it gives me any problems and uh, mechanical parts I do believe I have everything I need uh, yes we are good I have that so I'll shut that off not that matters i'm all solar powered here but why not try not to waste anything this time around not that it matters anyways let us uh start building of course it's raining i do have to take this off i put the the second memorial back up there so I'll take that off for now i am actually going to keep this one on but we're going to make it um Great. Yes, that's the color I'm looking for. In fact, what I was going to do in a viewer of that is mention that he was going to use this as a video for building a craft. I suggest if he builds this one to move everything back, and I'm actually going to do that right now. Uh, just got to make sure I don't take the wrong things out. Uh, this new multi tool is a lot faster, uh, which kind of makes that holding to right click, or holding to for the action to take place a little difficult now because you get used to holding it and you have like more or less a brief second to deal with it but it builds stuff so much faster so at least that way the weight shifted back a little more so when you boost it's not going to be going nose down as much so when you hit those little islands that it should roll over a little bit easier technically you could have put a block on top put another hover pad uh, on this side of the block here Acts as a little bumper, just leave that as just hover hover only. It'll act like a little little bit of a cushion to push you off. And then the air blade goes on the back. I'm not putting it there because I actually need that air blade for other purposes. So let's go ahead and put this back. Uh, I just need two of them. I'm gonna just have one on one color, one the other color. This one's gonna be the main power. We'll turn that off. This will be solar mounts. And see if I can get to all 12 of the batteries. Yes. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Just got it. So let me uh, get this. I'll deal with this later. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. I have to get up off the ground to deal with it. But let us start building something here. Uh, we're going to make the, the bi-solar flyer. Uh, I got everything on my bar, so I am ready to go. Except for the handy-dandy jack. Yes, that's my jack. 
Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I was going to do for the color on this thing, and I might try to. I was thinking about trying to match the solar panels. I don't know how well that's going to work though. But it's going to be. Let's. Uh, Oh, I don't know. Well, it's going to be blue, it could be red, yellow. Just make it white for now. I never do anything white. Uh, so what I was thinking about doing was, you know, it was like eight batteries and four solar panels. That doesn't go there. I was eight batteries, four solar panels. I was going to have the seat on top. Uh, thank you. Apparently T didn't want to work there. Oh, look, my jetpack charges up while I'm hovering. Oh, technology. Love it. Uh, and why are you like that? I have no idea. So that's going to go there. And then I was going to... I was trying to think of how I was going to do this. It's going to be flown in three, third person. The problem is the air blades are three wide. I want to try to make, keep this two wide. So the airplanes are going to be kind of off-center a little bit. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to switch this over to something a little more fitting. So now I'm going to take uh, good old slopes here. A nice lightweight block. And I'm just going to just use this as upright. So I will go symmetrical with this just because uh, I want to try to keep it balanced for weight purposes. It's actually quite close, isn't it? Let's actually bring those out. Not that it matters, it's gonna be in third person the whole time to fly this. And what I'll do is I'll actually place them the other way. Like that, and then we'll go up like that possibly. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Let me finish this up. I actually do have to get a spot for the solar panels there. I want to use the solar panels as sort of, uh, sort of the legs of the craft, right? Sort of have them like right here. Hang on, let me bring that in a little bit. Sort of like that. And that's going to be sort of how it lands. So I'll probably have to come up off the back and work something out. So let me get something together and I'll bring you back. And there it is, my bi solar fire. Looks more like a crab to me. If you got <laughs> it, actually does. I just try to do it red. See how it looks. Sure, we'll keep it that way. All right. So what I did, uh, just so you know, uh, I actually do have the air blades on opposing sides. I don't know exactly know if the center mass is directly in the center of this. So have one on this side, one on that side, and that way the center mass is set. I have both set the steering, I don't know if you can, can see that, so one turns one way, one turns the other way, so basically it turns on dime. And I put the little claws on here to make it land a little bit better on flatter areas like this and try to avoid the bounce when, I, uh, when we get out. Actually, we don't have to worry about that because it's all solar powered. Yeah, so you have four solar panels which generate 500 power each, and the air blades use 200 together. And then I have uh, 10 batteries which makes 1000 watts. So we are good to go. Let's uh, take it, shall we? I have enough to make all the miners too. Uh, we're gonna actually. I gotta make sure I have enough to make a printer as well, because I do wanna get another miner set up. Unfortunately, I don't have any circuits whatsoever, so I gotta get some silicone and set up a printer. So I need circuits. I got circuits, frames, mechanical parts, and plates. We are good to go. Let's get out of here, get rid of that, and let's uh, turn the power on. And it flies. It's a good sign. Ooh. Very aggressively. Alright, which way am I heading here? It'd be nice if there's an actual stabilize. Yeah, heading straight north. Now, oh, the best thing about flying. Holy jeez, yeah, it's a little aggressive. I imagine it's not very, very heavy. As we get to go faster, and we get to go on a straight line. Oh, it's maxing out with the little hovercraft down there at about 46, I think. 
This way we can go straight up into a line. Uh, that's actually something I want to... I want to investigate this season too. Is see if I can come up with like a proper stabilization for system for the hover pads, so you don't get this. Not that I'll flip because I'm bottom heavy. You can actually see where the center of mass is. It's where it's pivoting, and that just happens to be right about the middle of the cockpit. And that's always the issue. You can actually bring this up, and let's see, right there. That just happens to be where my craft is pivoting. And that was the the biggest thing when those things come out. If you didn't know about that, is even the developers were making crafts where the the air blades are below the center mass. When you do that, you come top heavy, and then what happens is you roll. Now with the auto stabilization of the air blades, you see how the air blades stabilize themselves and they sort of stay in the same spot, and that's what creates that bounce as they're correcting themselves, and just makes it so much worse. Anywho, uh, I'm on my way. Maybe we'll stop at a wreck along the way if I see something, but uh, I'll bring you back when it's time to bring you back. All right, we are here. Now to think this, I think I see the small island that I started at before. I wonder if my northern grave's around. I don't know if that actually shows up. Let's go over here and check it out. I think that's where I originally landed. I saw some floating trees there, but they uh, correct themselves. But I think it was this little island here that I originally landed at. I'm actually curious to see what we have here. I prefer to have the little island just in case animals do wander. I know they, they don't, but that's a planned feature. You can see the big hole I dug in the ground there. This is actually a pretty good spot, so I'm actually curious to see what we have here. I know we have the cows over there, but they're... They're not too big of an issue. Look at this. It comes right up top here, too. And over here. Oh. Down. Oh, thank you. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's, let's put a miner right here. And see what we get. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, uh, yeah, okay, it's that one, I left that red, I need to borrow those, that's okay, we're going to be about enough to make a printer, so we'll see what happens, and I'll just connect that to that, and that is in a bad spot, alright, let's try it again, let's try right there. And grab the extension cord. What do you have? Nothing. Alright, let's try another spot. Let's try right here. This is what we call prospecting. Yada, yada, yada. Best thing is that I got a flare so I can get the hell out of here pretty damn quick. I did bring water. Good. And I brought, brought food too. Uh, yeah, might as well eat those. Keep me a little bit more alive. Uh, there's got to be something around here. Uh, I'm going to look around a little bit and uh, bring it back. Oh, speak of the devil. I was going to say I'll look around and see if I find a good spot, but that actually looks like a good spot right there. And still that 1% of silver. I'd like to get a little bit more if I can. But, yeah. I'm going to do this for a little bit until I find a relatively decent spot. And I'll bring you back if I find anything good. Let's just check this one more here. Like uh, so. And, again, it looks... Oh, there we go. There's a silver right there. Perfect. And so, I am going to... Stick around here a little bit, let that build up, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to take off. That's actually producing an alarming rate. I like it. Uh, again, we'll try to filter out the garbage, the stuff we don't want. We don't worry about the aluminum. We'll get that with the cobalt. Again, we don't have too big a demand for that. And like I said, this stuff we can get down further south. 
So I'm going to get out of here. We're going to put a couple of containers on top. Just for now, one, two. That should do. And I'm not too, too worried about how much silver we get. Uh, it's just for the air blades. Uh, oh, yes. And now, the power is set up. I was going to put down six batteries and three solar panels, or four solar panels. And then I'm going to head back to the other miner there. We're going to set up two more solar panels. Because I noticed the charge wasn't as much as it could have been. I'm missing two. What? I thought I had enough. Do I have any biomass on me? No, I don't. I don't even have carbon. Okay, uh... That means I'm not going to have enough for the solar panels either. We'll try it this way. Uh, maybe I can at least get three. Maybe I'll switch the other ones over. But one, two, three. I should have enough to finish them up. I don't. Why not? I'm trying to think what I made here. It's probably because I switched over to that. I have no idea. <sighs> uh, I'll have to come back when I got something. All right, I had to run back home quickly. Uh, I had to pick up a few things. Uh, greenhouse is all finished, so I ended up running completely out of seeds, but I have 78 nutrition capsules. I should be good for a very long time, uh, but we'll look into that later sometime down the road when I actually need it. Uh, this miner over here wasn't doing too good. I had to relocate it a little bit, but now we're getting 50% carbon, 50% iron on this one. And that's already full because I slept here. And then silicone was a problem. So I found one that was 50 and 50 carbon and silicone. So at least we have the silicone for circuits and glass. And apparently these are green circuits, which I totally forgot about, but I have made a good 10 of them. So I can put my flyer back together and head back over to... Uh, the north, somewhere over there. Too bad we can't see the beacons from here, but yeah. So I gotta get this flyer up and running again. And head back out there because I want to get some proper power generation on those things. And maybe we'll even look at possibly setting up container sorting. So I shall see you when I get there. Okay, we're just getting back here. I went ahead and made a whole bunch of circuits. I had to make a few more of those uh, Mark II composites for the miner, which I had to borrow yet again from here. But we should be good to go, and it's going to be a good time, too, to try to build a little shelter, see how the, the actual shelter mechanic is going to work. Uh, if, it, if I have to be just underneath the roof, if I have to be inside a closed room, if I have to be in a room with a door, does it have to have a light in there? But I should have enough stuff on me to work something out. So we're going to drop here, we're going to put the miner back, and then uh, Put it up to six batteries and I'll try it for four solar panels just because. Uh, like I said, uh, we don't get the best of sun out here. We'll hover down all the way so I don't have to turn it off and worry about it bouncing into the ocean, never being able to get it again, which is nothing new around here. Okay, so I believe it was right there, somewhere around there. Uh, 33% silver. Uh, not bad. Alright, now if I want to force sort this, I'm going to need 9 containers. Or even 8. Let's say I have all the silver in the bottom here, and then 1 container for the aluminum, the iron, or even... If I force sort though, I actually need this stuff to fill slots. So I think we're just going to put some containers on top. Let's take the easy way out. One. As it's producing silver at a pretty good rate, I got about a stack and a half back at the base. Uh, yeah, I kind of figure that. Thank you for reminding me. All right, and we'll go back to red on this. I don't know why I care about the color. It's not like I'm ever going to see this. And I'll probably be dismantling it at some point in time. All right, and now for more solar panels. We need to use the wrong solar panels because uh, that is wrong hotbar. There we go. Uh, three. Oh, with four. 
because I noticed that they weren't producing as much as they could have. So we'll just go ahead and connect this up to just to be on the safe side. And I do believe I have enough for two more batteries and yeah, two more solar panels. So we're a good deal. Except for my hotkey remembering. Anyway, let's uh, head off to the other miner. I'm not gonna worry about this the silver right now. I do have some. Uh, Alright, we're gonna test the uh, <sighs> the sheltering, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's time for me to have some coffee, but I want to get this video recorded first. What is that? Almost looks like a shipwreck. Uh, yes, we should be, I believe, right on that tip over there. You know, I'm thinking we might actually be able to find, like, titanium around here. Look at that, there's a cobalt rock right there. Be the best place to set up any type of mining operation, just because the nests don't—they don't seem to be on such steep slopes like that. Every once in a while, you'll find them, but it's not terrible. So yes, we're going just over this one. This thing is like the most uncontrollable thing I've ever built. I think I had a better ch better time flying Medusa, to be honest. Alright, do we have any wildlife around here? Doesn't look like it. Which is good, because I want to try to set up a little shelter here. And uh, we'll see if this thing's even produced anything. Yeah, it's like a little sand crab. I might actually have to name that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, actually have some good stuff here. This is actually doing pretty good. Alright, uh, j not just to be on the safe side. You know, as I throw some more batteries and solar panels on here, uh, that's why I'm here. Okay, and throw a couple more of these. Oh, you're not going to fit that way, are you? No, you're not. Okay, one, and... Two. Things always work out when you come prepared. Always. And I actually still needed that, and I should have just enough to finish that. And that. Oh, that. And I'll make it red just so I can actually see it. And silly me, I actually had six batteries on here already. But we don't need them. Do that, and let's get connect up. Those last two solar panels, and we are good to go. So now let's see if we're building a little bit of shelter up here. Let's see. I want to try with glass. Just because I brought some glass, I'm also use it. Do that. And slip out a window. Okay, we'll take that because we're going to be building with that, anyways. Alright, I'm going to start with a two. Let's make this. Yeah, we'll go with this. Go with brown. Originally, I was thinking about trying to build like a little, little straw island shack. Not necessarily straw, but a little brown shack. Put a couple of palm, palm trees out here, but you know, that wouldn't work out too well. Uh, I should. I think I have like a stack and a half of frames on me, so I should be able to at least build something. Uh, I am just starting to get the frost effect now, so we'll see how it goes. Oh my god, building is so much faster with a proper proper multi-tool and batteries at least. Alright, uh, I want this. Yeah, we'll put this right in the corner like so. Like so. Put the door on that side. One there. And then get the slope. Of course it's not going to line up. You bastard. Alright. I'm going to have to modify this just slightly. That's not it. Three. 
like that, one more at two, and another three. And go. So another one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Forget it. We're just gonna go square on this. Because I totally forgot these windows are off size. Is that a window there? Window there. Actually no, not a window there. We'll do window there and there. We'll extend this out just a little. I gotta be careful too, these windows are expensive. I gotta hurry too, I'm getting cold. Uh, we'll just put a post in here, I guess. Why not? Like that. And windows, you get the idea. Let me finish this up and I'll bring you back. All right, well, I just put the ceiling on. It seems that the temperature has gone up a little bit. Still minus four. But we'll see what happens. I don't know if the glass walls have something to do with it. Uh, having the door open probably might have something to do with it as well. But we'll see what happens. And see if I get warmer in here. Something tells me I won't. But, but you never know. It's actually getting colder, so yeah, that didn't work out too well. I wonder if, like I said, I wonder if the glass has something to do with it. Maybe, maybe not. But either way, I came up here to get this dealt with. I wanted to put that to a test. Uh, is there anything I want to take with me? Titanium is useless until you get xanite. So, I'll probably take a stack of each. I'm going to head back to the sulfur place. Got the sulfur miner on the way back. Um, or a silver mine on the way back I'll pick up some silver and whatever else that may be useful in there and head on back so that's going to be wow that's my terrible flying for you but that's going to be it for this episode uh, next ep episode we're going to definitely start getting into some fun stuff since we got the cobalt running the hover pads are in production and it's time to get some action going Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.